Hello, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and a visionary of the Valder Beebe Show's That Celebrity Interview. craziness. You have eight people from all different backgrounds and cultures from the South. We come in a house and, you know, we party. We live it up. There's some hookups. There's some drama, a little bit of fights, but uh, we make a very interesting, dysfunctional family. <laughs> okay. Jeremiah, I saw you hanging out with Candace's parents. How was that? <laughs> oh my gosh. When I say it was a blast, that couldn't even describe it properly. I swear, I clicked with them so fast, it was ridiculous. And not to mention Candace's dad wanting to go round two for shotgunning oh, yeah. a beer. Not even just one. Twice, oh, yeah. I was in love. <laughs> I, I saw them, uh, as my daughter calls them, and I saw it on there. They were extra. They were extra. <laughs> the rice is interesting. It, I, I, I can see that. Okay, Candace, I saw you say that you want to prove that you can still get a man. You're only 24 years old. What? Tell me what that statement was about. You know, because I, I don't do well with putting myself out there. Like, I'm goofy. So, you know, I, flirting to some other people, I don't flirt as good as Nilsa does. Like, when I wink, it, it's like a, like, a, it, it, it just don't look good. <laughs> Well, you're beautiful, and that's what beautiful women do. They just be. You don't have to do anything. I know, but Preaching normally, to the choir here. normally, Valder, I be drunk. So, you know, <laughs> it's, that's not always attractive. <laughs> okay. Jeremiah, let me ask you, where did you get that body from? Uh, you know, that's what my audience wants to know. I put, put you out there on Facebook on Friday, and they want to know where you get that body from. <laughs> that body? What that body do? What them pecs do? <laughs> <laughs> Well, honestly, when I was 18, uh, well, early on when I was like 13, I was very chubby, but I hit a growth spurt and I like went up to like 6'2 by the age of like 15. And then I just really got into fitness. Um, I continued working out when I was 18, definitely developed my muscles the right way. And most people, they don't think about stretching their muscles enough. And the problem is the less you do it, the more you get injured and the longer you stay out of the gym. So for me, the healthier I was and the longer I was in the gym, and that means I got bigger. So... Definitely ate a lot for sure. I'm not going to lie. I was a big eating boy when I was 18. So, uh, But also genetics. So thanks, Mom and Dad. <laughs> All right. You guys heard it. I promise you guys on Facebook I would answer that question, ask that question for you. Okay. You guys are coming back for season two. Season one was wild. Okay. Yes. Uh, Candace, what, how can you top season one? Oh, Lord. <laughs> how? Honestly, we demolished season one this time around like if you thought season one was crazy you were in for it this time around so yeah you know it's just it's we know each other um uh, better this time so like jeremiah always says we know how to put you push each other buttons so it's a lot of button pushing this time <laughs> around so it just it results in a little bickering a lot more fights but at the end of the day it's just we're we're living in a house gaining understanding of each other so well, and also, well, I'll, I'll, made really good friends. Yeah. 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 And that's the thing. Like, the more we got to know each other, the more we started to appreciate the fact that we can't change who they are. We can just accept who they are. And so I feel like the first season, we like had an idea of who these seven roommates would be in our own mind. And when we realized that wasn't the case and we had to accept these people for who they are, their functions, their dysfunctions, you know, whatever the case was, that made it a lot easier. And we had a lot more fun this time around. Yeah. And also went outside of PCB, too. So we didn't just tear it up in the bars at PCB. We actually uh, did a little traveling. Oh, yes, we did. Well, Candice, I know this is not you guys' goal or the goal of the show, but are there any life lessons for the viewing audience here? Yes. Like, it's a lot of life lessons that we learned in the show. Like, we're literally growing up and gaining understanding of life in front of America, like in front of the entire audience. So um, there's somebody 
for every viewer to relate to on the show. And I honestly think that's what the, the basis of the show is about, is gaining understanding and growing and learning, you know, while you're just out partying and having a good time. And, like, And also to teach people to hydrate when they're drinking alcohol. Stay hydrated. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a crucial tip that we can take. <laughs> stay hydrated. You guys are doing good. Uh, my audience loves you. They had nothing but great things to say. Awesome. They said it was entertaining, said it was fun. So you guys are doing a great job. When do you guys want us to watch you on MTV? So we'll be uh, airing July 9th, Monday, at 10, Monday. 9 Central. And also, for those who haven't actually caught up with Season 1, MTV is uh, doing free streaming on their app that what you don't even have to log in for. and You can just watch Season 1 if you haven't caught up yet. I caught up, and I had a great time. You guys awesome. are having fun, and you make us have fun just vicariously watching you. Thank you so much, Valder. I appreciate it. That's awesome. Just thank you. Got to come back for Season 3, guys, because I know you're going the distance. Most for definitely. I guess on the Valder BB Show. Thank, thank you, you so much. Bye.